It is Thursday afternoon, October 3rd. This is not a video that we wanted to make, especially after the video that Nick had to make last year, but we made a decision this week for Nick to be not competing in this year's Olympia. This is the second year in a row that I'm gonna miss the Olympia that I worked so hard for. You know, and I, I, there's so many things that come into play because it's like, all I want to do is win the Olympia for myself and be Matt's first Olympia winner. Nick Walker, widely known as the Mutant, has made the tough decision to withdraw from the 2024 Mr. Olympia contest, which will take place in Las Vegas, Nevada, from October 10th to 13th. In a video posted to YouTube on October 5th, Walker and his coach, Matt Jansen, explained their reasoning behind the decision. Truly, what I feel is in the best interest of Nick to not step on stage because we know that his body is not operating like it needs to operate. You know, so, so why continue to put his body through the stress of what it takes to be an elite bodybuilder when it's just not there? After much deliberation, they concluded that Walker's current physique is not at the level required for the prestigious competition, which also marks its 60th anniversary this year. Jansen addressed the situation, stating, It is Thursday, October 3rd, and this is not a video we wanted to make, especially after what Nick went through last year. In 2023, Walker had to withdraw from the Mr. Olympia event just days before it began due to a severe hamstring and calf injury, which left many fans disappointed. His comeback this year was highly anticipated, but it became clear during his prep that he wasn't at his best. While Walker had considered waiting for a special invitation to the 2024 Mr. Olympia, he decided to compete earlier this year at Steve Weinberger's New York Pro. He won the event, but his victory did not come without criticism. Concerns were raised about the shape of his physique, particularly his waistline, which some felt appeared too wide. Despite the win, Walker and his coach realized that his body was not in the right condition to compete at the level they both expect from him. This played a significant role in their decision to sit out the upcoming Olympia. Nick's body is just not where it needs to be right now, Jansen admitted. He went on to explain that this realization had been weighing on them for a couple of weeks. We've had very intentional conversations and ultimately we feel it's best for Nick's career and for the Olympia that he doesn't step on stage this year. Walker himself expressed his deep frustration and disappointment.
All I want to do is win the Olympia for myself and to be Matt's first Open Olympia winner. But it's another year I have to miss, he shared. He went on to explain that he refuses to compete unless he's at his absolute best. In my mind, I'm still the third best bodybuilder in the world because that's where I left off, Walker said, referring to his previous placing in the Olympia. I refuse to step on stage anything less than my best and I'm still in my mind the third best bodybuilder in the world because that's where I left um, and with the way I was looking it just wasn't going to be that way. However, the way his body was shaping up during his prep this year, it became clear that he wouldn't be able to deliver the type of performance he demands. Walker had opted not to share physique updates on social media throughout his prep for the Olympia, which was a significant departure from his usual approach. It's been eight weeks out. I guess one thing I, I find funny is it seems to be counted out in everybody's prediction. I'm not in the top five or I'm fifth. And I get it. I didn't do the Olympia last year, so y'all don't know how it was gonna stack up. Although Walker's absence is a significant loss for the men's open lineup at the 2024 Mr. Olympia, the event is still expected to be an exciting spectacle. <music> Top athletes such as Derek Lunsford, Hadi Chupan, Samson Dowda, and Andrew Jacked will be competing for the coveted title, ensuring that the event remains highly competitive and historic. Walker's fans, while disappointed, will undoubtedly be looking forward to his eventual return to the stage when he's able to present his best possible form. For now, however, both he and his coach believe that stepping back and allowing his body to rest is the best course of action for his long-term career. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, and subscribe to Muff Fitness to stay updated with all the latest content. Until next time, keep that motivation alive and stay dedicated to your fitness journey.